Have you ever been certain your telephone would ring in the next 10 seconds? Or have you ever walked down a strange street and had the feeling that you knew what lay beyond the unturned corner? Yes? Then you've had a brief encounter with the world of the unknown. You are ready for the actual human experience that follows. Time to set the table. I was just coming, Ma. Emmy Horvath, age 12. Farm girl, helping her mother with the chores. How perfectly normal. Certainly a most unlikely channel for the supernormal, the psychic, isn't she? Well, don't you believe it. The table. All right. I was talking to Miss Palmer this morning. She says there's all kinds of excitement over in town. Some children belonging to someone at that army camp over by the shore from got themselves lost. Don't take much get people excited. Miss Palmer says... No, do you mind what Miss Palmer says? We got nothing to do with them army folk. We mind our own business. You let them mind theirs. Yes, Ma. He didn't say. He didn't say. What? Pa, he didn't say. Say what? If he was fixing on butchering the pig. It ain't no later than last year. What ain't no later? Butcher and the pig. Paul waited even later last year. Now that's twice you've done that. I didn't say nothing about Pa and the pig, but you answered. And then about it being late, I didn't say nothing about that neither. I was thinking it, but I didn't say nothing. But I heard you. How? When I didn't say nothing. I don't know. I just heard you. Well, I don't know, Ma. Emmy, what's got into you? What's got into you? You try and make out like you can read my mind? Ma, please. It was a mistake. Go on. Say it. It was a mistake. Why are you scared? I'm not scared. You sound scared. How... How'd you know what I was thinking? You mean, is it just me? Or can you do it with others? I don't know, Ma. It just started. What about Pa? You mean, about what he's thinking? He's mad. The cow's commencing to dry up already, and he's mad. You're making it up. No, Ma, honest, I'm not making it up. I'm going to tell you up. how I no, knew. Yes, you are making it up. I'm not making it up. Honest, I'm not. Oh, hey, too much noise in there. We're in like a couple of stuck pigs, both of you. No more than four quarts. That calf ain't due for months, and she's commencing to dry up already. Oh, yeah, another thing. That young pasture apple you set such store by, Amy? That's just dead. Rabbit's got her. Well, I'm ready. Where's supper? A couple of minutes ago, you two couldn't start talking. Well, what's got into you two, anyway? Go on. Go on, you tell him. Tell me what. Jed, is the cow really commencing to dry up? 
Well, I just said that, didn't I? You, you tell Emmy before? How could I when I just finished milking? Now, wait up, Jed. Don't be getting mad. Listen. I think she can read folks' minds. You've gone crazy. She can't even read what they teach her in school. Jed, I mean it. All right. What is it? Nothing. Well, what am I thinking? Can you tell that? She don't know. Yeah, she knows. If she knows, why don't she say it? Hmm? Why don't you say it? Pa. Come on, Emmy. What am I thinking? The apple tree. The pasture apple. That's why you're mad at me. You tethered the cow to it. She pulled it out. That's how it got killed, not rabbits. You see? She knows. She's seen me. You'd done it this morning while I was fetching Kinlan. You know that. You're thinking it yourself. You shut your mouth. You. It, it ain't bad enough you give me no sons. You give me a female with a devil inside her. Oh, what did I do? They, they got a name for one like her. Witch. Don't say that, Jed. Ma! That's what they said about old Lady Cole, remember? They come up here, they took her away, they sent her away upstate. They said she was crazy. Crazy? Witch? It's the same thing. They wouldn't come take Emmy away. No, Ma! Don't let him take me away! What are we gonna do? We are gonna keep our mouths shut. Ma! Keep your mouth shut. Listen, Emmy. Don't you tell nobody about what you can do. Nobody. Understand? I won't tell no one, I swear. Only don't let him call me a witch. All right, all right. Don't... Stop blubbering. How drying up months early. You gonna sit there and tell me we ain't got a witch in this house? Make me not a witch. Make me not a witch. Please, make me not a witch. <laughs> you don't go. I don't belong here. We don't go here. That doesn't matter. I didn't hurt nothing. Of course you didn't. What's your name? Emmy. Emmy, would you like to tell me what it is you're afraid of? I can't. It helps sometimes to tell. No, I can't. Sit down, Emmy. I wonder if you know that anything you tell me, I won't tell anyone else unless you say so. That's a promise. You believe me? Yes. All right, then. Am I turned into a witch? What? Am I turned into a witch? Because I can tell what folks are thinking about. Well, I'm not sure I understand all that, but... Uh... No, you're not turned into a witch. But I can read people's minds. I can... You don't believe me. Should I? You're thinking to take me to your housekeeper. You're thinking how she got Coco. Now you're thinking... Heavenly Father. What an incredible coincidence. Now you believe me. Am I turned into a witch? No, Emmy. I, 
I don't know what you are. Perhaps you're a miracle. I wouldn't know, but... You are certainly not a witch. You ain't gonna tell nobody. Perhaps there's a God-given reason that you can do what you can do. This is a tremendous thing, this gift of yours. Perhaps it's better not to keep it a secret. But you promised. Pod beat me if he knew I told anybody. You promised. If folks found out I was a witch, they'd, they'd come and lock me up. Oh, they wouldn't do that. But, but perhaps a doctor, someone who understands it's, the incredible... No, you promised me! You promised! All right, Emmy. All right. We'll say nothing. But you will remember that I'm your friend. I won't let anyone harm you. Do you believe me? I have to go now. I don't think so. Hmm? You was thinking if I come and see you again. I don't think so. hospital just telephoned. They want you to come over right away. Uh, who is it? Juan Uriba, the old fisherman father. An accident? No, they found him on the beach almost unconscious. Father, the man at the hospital said that you'd hurry right over. Amen. I absolve thee of thy sins in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost. Amen. Isn't there something you can give him? Something so we can hear what he's trying to tell us? Captain Ryder, he's an old man. He's driven himself badly. It's a paralytic stroke. There's no way to predict when or if he'll ever regain his powers of speech or motion. He's got to. It's the only chance. Captain Ryder, are you sure he saw the children? He must have. When they found him on the beach, he could just barely talk. They heard him say something about children. Just that one word, over and over, children. And he must have seen them near the beach or water. Perhaps on one of the islands. There must be over a hundred islands out there. I've got a search party and a powerboat, but in this weather, it's impossible. If he can't tell us, we'll never find them. Try. Please try to talk. Where are my children? Tell me where my children are. Oh, if only I could get inside his mind. Water at high tide. Then what do we do? What do we do when it's underwater? Miss Palmer says they haven't found those children yet. She thinks maybe if they don't find them soon, maybe too late. But how do you know what she's thinking? Listen, you trying your witch work on her now? No, Paul, we was just talking. Talking? Next thing, Lou Palmer will be talking. They'll be coming up here to get you. Paul, I didn't tell her nothing. She doesn't know anything. Well, Emmy. Well, you oughtn't to come here. You. Emmy, I gave you my word. Now I've come to ask you. You've got to let me out of my word. Wait a minute. Now, what's what's all this about? 
I told him about the mind reading, Pa. Emmy, I told you. Pa, when you called me a witch, I was so afraid. You want them to take you away? You want to be locked up? That won't happen, Mr. Horvath. It happened with old Lady Cole. Mrs. Horvath, two children are lost. There's an old man, a fisherman, who's seen them. But he's sick now. He can't talk. Well, now, that's none of our business. Emmy, you can save those children. All you have to do is go with me to the hospital and tell me what this old man is thinking. No. Now, listen to me, child. Remember what I told you? That this power, this gift, must have been given to you for a reason. I mean, this is the reason. I'm sure this is the reason. Now, don't you listen to him, Emmy. It's a trick. He just wants to make you admit you got the devil inside you. That is not true, Emmy. Look into my mind. You know that's not true. Pa says they'll hurt me. Says they'll do to me like they did to Miss Cole. Trust me, and please trust me. There's so little time. Emmy, you keep your mouth shut. Emmy, you listen to your pa. Ma, what should I do? Your pa's right. It's a trick. They really needed you for those children. He'd tell people about you anyway. He'd get someone to make you go. Mrs. Horvath, I am bound by oath under God never to reveal a confidence. I can't tell about Emmy without her permission. And that's why you've got to tell her that it is right to release me from my word. We ain't buying none of your tricks, Father. You best get on out of here. Emmy. Emmy, it's not a trick. Well, if I could just reach you tell you how important this is. It's not a trick. I can't. I can't. Mama, help me. Help me. Tell me what to do. Let's just go to your room. Now you get. God have mercy on you all. Then let's try the child. But that's ridiculous. Mind reading is something found in a vaudeville act. Come in, please. Juan, you know little Emmy Horvath. You know where the children are. I believe it is God's will that Emmy can read some people's minds. I want her to try to read yours. Do you think he understands? That's the child. She's supposed to be able to know, isn't she? He... He understands. How do you know? Look at his eyes. You can tell from his eyes he understands. Juan, please. Where are my children? What did you see? I can't. Emmy, please try. You said you could. Well, I can, ordinary. But he's different. He 
keeps thinking, but it's different. How different? Funny. Just words I don't know. Spanish? What? He's thinking in Spanish. He must be. Yes. He says yes. Juan, listen. Emmy doesn't speak Spanish. No comprende. I want you to think words in Spanish, important words, slowly. Emmy, try to say the words. I speak a little Spanish. Just try to say the sound. Los niños. Children, she's getting it. Isla. Island. What island? There are a dozen islands. How could they get to an island without a boat? Ir a pie. Says they walked. Walked to an island? Cuando marea baja. They walked to an island when the tide was low. It could only be strip island. When it isn't really an island. It's when the tide is low, you can walk to it from the beach. When the tide is high, it... it what? At high tide, it's submerged. What time is high tide? He says, Son las ocho y media. 8.30. 8.15 now. Gracias, adios. Ma. Ma. They rescued the children in time, and they're all right. You still mad at me, Pa? Can't you tell anymore, Amy? Can't you read my mind? You think... I don't know. I can't. I can't do it no more. It's gone. It went clean away. Can't tell if you're mad, Pa. Oh, Emmy, I was never mad at you. Well, mostly I was just scared. strange gift that was given for just a little while? Of a gift that saved the lives of two children? A man frightened of a miracle. How much more frightening, or how really terrifying, if there were no miracles?